Okay, so we have 0 0.8 plus 1 half plus 3 fifths. We have some decimals, and we have a decimal and a couple fractions. So obviously, we're going to need to know something about decimals and fractions and how to convert maybe from a decimal to a fraction or a fraction to a decimal. But anyways, if you think you can figure this out, go to put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I'm going to walk through step by step on how to do some basic arithmetic to figure this problem out. This is not going to be difficult. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into uh, what we need to do. So here we have 0.8 plus 1 half plus 3 fifths. Well, uh, there's different ways you can approach this problem, but the easiest uh, way by far is to convert this decimal into a fraction. So we're working with fractions. We already have two fractions here. So instead of uh, converting these fractions into decimals, let's just go ahead and take this 0.8 and write it as a uh, fraction. Now, how do we write a decimal as a fraction? Something like this. Well, you need to be able to say the place value, okay? So here, I'm saying 0.8, but this 8 is in the tenths place. Let's take a look at a decimal like this, uh, 0.17, um, okay? So 0.17, this is one way to say this decimal, but this 1 is in the tenths place. This 7 is in the hundredths place. So we would, could really say this uh, decimal, instead of saying 0.17, we could say 17 hundredths. So I could write a fraction uh, that corresponds to this decimal as 17 over 100 or 17 hundredths is the same thing as 0.17. So again, when you want to convert a decimal into a fraction, you need to be able to read that place value. All this stuff that we forgot way, way back in the good old days. For me, I was doing this in the 1970s. So if you don't brush up on this or practice these skills, you know, uh, from time to time, you're definitely going to forget how to do this, but it's not that difficult. All right, so 0.8 is uh, the same thing as 8 tenths. So I can write the fraction 8 tenths. So now our uh, equivalent problem, instead of this decimal 0.8, we have 8 tenths plus 1 half plus 3 fifths. So what do we need to do? Well, we're going to have to add these fractions. So how do you add fractions? Well, you can't add any or add or subtract fractions unless the denominators, these bottom numbers, are the same. So we have a little bit of an issue here. This one's 10, this one's 2, this one's 5. We're going to have to get all these denominators the same. So that means we're going to have to find the lowest common denominator which for most people, uh, they just get, you know, they, you know, most expressions when they're like, people have to find the LCD, they either look like this or they look like this. They're just like, LCD, I don't want to do the LCD. You know, just give me these nice fractions like one third plus two thirds, things like that. You know, but when it comes to these type of fractions, this is easy stuff. But I'm going to tell you right now, you need to understand how to find the lowest common denominator. If you have any questions about fractions, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that goes into the LCD, the LCM, everything you need to know. I explain it nice and easy. Also, if you need a, uh, like a quick review on basic elementary level math, place value, all that kind of stuff, I have an excellent little mini course uh, called my Math Foundations course. I cover all the basics in a kind of short, condensed um, course. Of course, I'm talking about things like decimals, fractions, percent, all that kind of good stuff. But anyways, the LCD here is 10. That is the lowest common denominator. Now, if you don't know why that is, uh, check out uh, some of those things I already told you about. But that is the LCD. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we're going to have to take our problem here, all these denominators, and we're going to have to rewrite all these fractions such that the denominator is 10. Okay, so they're all common. So we want a common denominator, i.e. we want the same number, and we want the lowest number that all these numbers have in common, i.e. the LCD, the lowest common denominator. All right, so uh, 8 tenths, well, this fraction already has 10 as its denominator, so I don't have to do anything to it. But here I have 1 half, so how can I take this 2 and write it as a 10? 
Okay, I got to take this 2 and make it into a 10. Easy, just multiply it by 5, right? So 2 times 5 gives me a 10. But if I multiply this denominator by 5, I got to multiply the numerator by 5. So this is going to be 5 over 10. Okay, so 5 tenths, if you're like, oh, that fraction, yes, it is uh, equal to 1 half if I told you to reduce that. So you're not breaking the fraction, you're just rewriting it with a different denominator. All right, so how do we take this 5 and turn it into a 10? Easy, just multiply by 2. So I got to multiply the numerator by 2, so I got 6 tenths. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and add these fractions up. It's super easy. Anytime you have the same denominator, you're talking about adding or subtracting fractions, we just simply write the denominator 10 and then add or subtract the respective numerators. In this case, it's 8 plus 5 plus 6, which of course gives us 19 or 19 over 10. And that is it. Okay, so we have our fraction. You always want to make sure this um, your final answers are reduced. And in this case, we're dealing with what we call an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the, uh, than the denominator. You don't need to uh, turn this into a mixed fraction, something like three and one half. It's not necessary. You need to know how to do that, but don't do this voluntarily. Just make sure your final answers are reduced, okay? But uh, fractions where the numerator is smaller than the denominator, this is called a proper fraction. This is called an improper fraction. And improper fractions you can write, again, as like mixed numbers. And you can write mixed numbers as improper fractions. Just a little extra bonus there in terms of fraction terminology that you need to know. Okay, so all this stuff is super important. Arithmetic, all those skills, division, how to divide numbers, how to work with fractions. All this stuff is extremely important in more advanced level math. So, again... All this stuff you definitely can do, but if you don't use it, you will lose it, okay? So you want to brush up on this stuff from time to time. The only way to brush up is to pr uh, do practice problems. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.